Hey guys, welcome back again to another Tech Guru video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to run .exe files on your Mac. Uh, .exe are files that normally run applications or open install applications on a Windows. A lot of times you need to run a Windows program on your Mac. This will only work for Intel based Mac so if you have one older than that and it is not an Intel based Mac this will not work. Now there are some workarounds that have to be done for certain applications and if you'd like you can put those uh, workarounds in the comment box for other people to, uh, to hear about and to learn as well. But the first thing you need to do is go to google.com and search for wine botter b-o-t-t-e-r wine botter and then click enter and the first thing that will come up here under the Wikipedia page will be wine bottler I'm sorry it's not wine botter it's wine bottler so click on the wine bottler application there and then it'll say wine bottler run Windows apps on an Intel based Mac you will then click on the download link which is right here the blue download link you will click on that and then it will say downloading now now you can say you know it'll say thank you for downloading and then it'll download this .dmg file and then you just say keep that dmg file wait for it to download so it could take you know five to six minutes for this .dmg file to download so i'm going to go ahead and pause now but you guys will not miss a thing once your download is finished open up the .dmg file and you will see this option available to you. You will need to select the wine and the wine bottler applications here and click and hold and drag them into your applications folder. Now once you have taken them and moved them into your applications folder you will notice a few things. Now when you open up a .exe file like I have over here. I have Chrome for Windows, the .exe file over here on my desktop. Now, when you download a .exe file, what will happen is it will show the wine bottler logo here. All you will need to do is double click on that .exe file and then it will say it is a Windows application downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? And then you will click on open. Once you have opened the file, you will get a window that will say this. You are about to open a Wine file. Would you like to, what would you like to do with it? Do you want to run directly in the Wine files folder or convert it to a simple OS X application? Now, in my usage of this application, it works better if you run it in the Wine files folder. It just works better. I do not know why, but that's what I have experienced. Now, if you would like, you can what they call a .app or a Windows OS 10 application. That works occasionally, but it works better if you run directly in that specific folder there. So once you've done that, click on the Go button. Now, not work that you may need to look at on the internet and try to figure out how that works. But once you do that, you will then see like the Google Chrome installer here like you were on a Windows, and it'll be just like if you were running a Windows application. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that now, cancel the installation, and guys, again, the name of the application is Wine Bottler. Google it online, and you'll be able to run .exe files or window files on your OS X Macintosh. Now, it does need to be an Intel Mac, like I said, in order for this to work properly. If you have any questions on how to go about doing this, put them in the comment box below. If you want more great content like this, subscribe to my channel. Please help me out and hit the thumbs up button and like this video if it helped you out. And I will see you guys next time.